Gospel singer Kim Burrell cherishes her spiritual son Tyrese Gibson, but a recent health scare revealed the need for discretion in sharing personal information. Burrell, a Grammy-nominated artist, found herself at the center of a social media storm when Gibson's well-intentioned but overly detailed post suggested she needed financial support after being hospitalized with pneumonia. Burrell took to Instagram to clarify the situation. Posting a selfie, she reassured her followers, Good late evening, I'm so happy to report that all is well. As most of you know, there's nothing that Tyrese wouldn't say or do for me. Everybody please relax and continue to pray for my recovery. I love you all. To provide further context, the 50-year-old pastor shared a 17-minute Instagram Live video explaining her health scare in more detail. Wednesday or Thursday, my O2 had dropped to 40, so I was in a very critical place, she revealed. Despite the gravity of her condition, Burl emphasized that she did not need financial assistance. If we did this for money, gospel artists, we couldn't try to live and do this. I am on an assignment, she stated firmly. Burl acknowledged Gibson's heartfelt intentions, but gently pointed out the confusion his message caused. My son Tyrese, y'all gotta keep a secret. He doesn't keep a secret as you can see, she said hinting at the unintended consequences of his public plea. The drama unfolded nearly a week earlier when Gibson's emotional post caused a stir within the gospel community. In a now-deleted letter obtained by Hollywood Unlocked, Gibson expressed his distress over Burl's condition, writing, I'm freaking out, I don't know what to do. He implied that Burl needed $15,000 for medical bills due to canceled shows and encouraged fans to donate via PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle to support her recovery. Gibson's post, though meant to help, sparked criticism among fans who felt he had overstepped boundaries. Comments flooded in, questioning his decision to share Burl's private matters so publicly. Why he telling this lady's, lady's business in detail like that? One fan asked, while another commented, not Tyrese on IG asking folks to send Venmo donations to Kim Burl. Despite the backlash, Burl and Gibson's relationship remains intact. Burl's public response highlighted her gratitude for the support and prayers, reinforcing that all is well between them. This incident, while chaotic, underscores the importance of thoughtful communication and the delicate balance between seeking help and maintaining privacy. The recent health scare of gospel singer Kim Burrell brought to light not only the fragility of health, but also the complexities of handling personal information in the age of social media. Burrell, known for her powerful voice and spiritual leadership, found herself in a precarious situation when she was hospitalized with pneumonia. The situation quickly escalated when her close friend and spiritual son, Tyrese Gibson, took to social media to solicit financial support for her medical expenses. Gibson's heartfelt but impulsive post created a whirlwind of reactions. The 44-year-old actor and singer, visibly distraught, penned an emotional letter that was quickly picked up by Hollywood Unlocked. In his now-deleted post, Gibson confessed to being in tears over Burl's condition. I'm freaking out, I don't know what to do, he wrote capturing the raw emotion of someone fearing for a loved one. He suggested that Burl needed $15,000 to cover her medical bills and canceled shows, urging fans to send money through various digital payment platforms. She had to cancel five shows and she stressed out about it, but I just wanted to have more than enough money to where she don't have to worry about the shows if she could just focus on resting and recovering, Gibson explained. His intention was clear, to alleviate the financial burden on Burl so she could focus solely on her recovery. She's on PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle. Just do whatever it takes to get some money into mom to make sure she's okay, he implored. While Gibson's plea came from a place of love and concern, it also sparked controversy. Fans and followers were quick to criticize his approach, questioning the appropriateness of sharing such personal details publicly. Comments flooded in, with many expressing discomfort and disapproval.
Why he telling this lady's business in detail like that? One person asked. Another remarked, Not Tyrese on IG asking folks to send Venmo donations to Kim Burrell? Highlighting the unease many felt about the public appeal for funds. Was this his place to announce that? He is always overstepping boundaries on public information, added another, pointing to a perceived pattern of overstepping boundaries. In the midst of this social media storm, Burl took a moment to address her followers directly. She posted a reassuring selfie with the caption, Good late evening. I'm so happy to report that all is well. As most of you know, there's nothing that Therese wouldn't say or do for me. Everybody please relax and continue to pray for my recovery. I love you all. Her message was clear. She appreciated the concern, but wanted to alleviate any unnecessary panic. To provide further clarity, Burl went live on Instagram, sharing a 17-minute video where she detailed her ordeal and set the record straight. Wednesday or Thursday, my O2 had dropped to 40, so I was in a very critical place, she explained. Despite the severity of her condition, Burl made it clear that she did not need financial donations. If we did this for money, gospel artists, we couldn't try to live and do this. I am on an assignment, she stated, underscoring her dedication to her spiritual mission. Burl also addressed Gibson's well-meaning but chaotic post. My son Tyrese, y'all gotta keep a secret. He doesn't keep a secret, as you can see, she said with a touch of humor. She acknowledged his love and concern, but gently highlighted the need for discretion in such matters. This incident sheds light on the delicate balance between public support and privacy, especially in the digital age where information spreads rapidly and often uncontrollably. Burl's experience is a reminder of the importance of clear communication and the need to handle personal matters with care and consideration. Despite the whirlwind of emotions and reactions, Kim Burl's recent experience serves as a profound reminder of the importance of discretion, support, and resilience. Her journey through a serious health scare highlighted not only the strength of her spirit, but also the complexity of navigating personal crises in the public eye. As Burl continues her recovery, she remains steadfast in her mission and grateful for the outpouring of love and prayers from her fans. Good late evening, I'm so happy to report that all is well, she assured her followers. Her calm and reassuring demeanor amidst the chaos exemplifies her unwavering faith and dedication to her calling. Burl's response to the situation underscores a crucial lesson about the balance between transparency and privacy. While she appreciated Tyrese Gibson's concern and the community's support, she also recognized the need to manage personal information carefully. Her gentle humor in addressing Gibson's overzealous sharing, My son Tyrese, y'all gotta keep a secret, he doesn't keep a secret as you can see, illustrates her grace and understanding. The episode also highlights the power of community and the impact of well-intentioned actions. Gibson's emotional plea, though criticized for its approach, stemmed from a place of genuine love and concern. His public display of affection and support, albeit misguided, showcased the deep bond he shares with Burl. It also sparked important conversations about how best to support loved ones in times of need without overstepping boundaries. For Burl, this experience has reinforced her commitment to her path and her community. Her 17-minute Instagram live session was not just an update on her health, but a reaffirmation of her purpose. I am on an assignment, she declared, highlighting her resolve to continue her work in gospel music and spiritual leadership. Her clarity in refusing financial donations. If we did this for money, gospel artists, we couldn't try to live and do this. Further emphasized her dedication to her mission, driven by faith rather than financial gain. As she moves forward, Burl's journey serves as an inspiring example of resilience and faith. Her ability to navigate this health scare with grace, humor, and unwavering determination is a testament to her character. She continues to be a beacon of hope and strength for her fans, 
showing that even in the face of adversity, it is possible to stand firm and emerge stronger. This incident also opens up a broader dialogue about the ways we support one another and the importance of respecting privacy, even while offering help. Burl's experience is a reminder that support can come in many forms. Prayers, well wishes, and respectful concern. Without necessarily delving into financial or deeply personal matters. In the end, Kim Burl's story is one of triumph over adversity. A narrative of faith, community, and the delicate balance of living a public life. Her journey continues to inspire reminding us all of the power of resilience, the importance of thoughtful support, and the unwavering strength of the human spirit.